Iran has been rocked by mass protests over the f past few days in numerous cities, Zahedan, uh, Mashhad, Shiraz, Yaz, Khuramabad, Khuramshar, you name it. There have been protests there against poverty, unemployment, rising prices and repression and dictatorship. Absolutely, and you could see this. The nature of the protest is um, looking at the totality of the Islamic regime started with um, protest against corruption, uh, abject poverty that the Islamic regime has imposed on all sections of society in Iran, political repression, all of those. You, we've seen continuous uh, demonstrations in various parts of Iran. Labor uh, wages haven't been paid. A lot of people haven't been paid for month and after month. And all of these are linked with the leaders of the Islamic regime and the complete lack of regard for uh, people's welfare. You, we, we saw uh, the situation after the earthquake, that people were left with no support at all. All of that pressure is now come to a head and demonstrations and protests are starting everywhere aimed at totality of this language. Yeah, and the, the, you can tell from the slogans as well, it says down with Khamenei and also down with Rouhani. And from the slogans, you can see that it is aimed at the repression of the regime as well. You know, it says down with Khamenei, but also down with uh, uh, Rouhani. It talks about livelihood, dignity is our basic right. You know, there are slogans about freedom, freeing political prisoners and jailed labor and student activists, and on and on. And of course, even Islam is being targeted. You know, one of the slogans is, Islam has been used as a step to frustrate and make the lives of people miserable. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the other um, uh, thing is that the role of uh, young people in these protests, and actually all sections of society, um, they've come together to protest against the situation, and particularly young people and women have yeah. been a major factor and in spreading this protest. Definitely yeah. this is a woman's, a female a revolution, a female protest. It's very clear right from the start. A lot of the iconic videos and photos that are coming out of the protest are by women. So there's a woman waving her, her white hijab, uh, standing on a, you know, on a plinth somewhere, and there's another woman screaming at security forces on her own, saying, down with Khamenei. And of course, uh, others... Which is a taboo, actually. They, they always yeah. try to say, do anything you want, but do not aim at the leader of the Islamic Republic because he is sacred, he represents God. And you can see that people are actually fa facing and, you know, and, and saying, down with uh, uh, Khamenei and the head of the Islamic regime of Iran. That, that means totality. Of course, different sections of uh, different factions of the Islamic regime try to sort of blame each other on the protests, but it's very clear this is not uh, one section against the other. It's people of Iran against the Islamic yeah, Republic. Definitely. Program. And of course, you do have uh, reactionaries trying to take advantage of these protests, one by pushing their own reactionary agendas in Iran, uh, in Iranian politics, but also, you know, you hear. Uh, the Trump administration talking about how wonderful it is that people in Iran are protesting. You know, we have a message for the U.S. government, hands off Iran. It's because of U.S. foreign policy that there is an Islamic regime to begin with in Iran. Uh, there's the 1953 coup in Iran. It's a continuous, you know, causing of mayhem and trouble, not just in Iran, but in the Middle East and North Africa. The U.S. brings only bad news to a place and, like Iran, and, and, and we also, don't want them absolutely. there. Absolutely, and I think that the thing is that they unleash the most reactionary element. They, the intervention, we've seen that in Syria, we've seen that in Iraq, we, we've seen that in Middle East, in and, Afghanistan. Seen that, and, and in yeah. different parts, they always back the most reactionary elements against people's right and dignity and civil liberties. So the best thing for Trump administration is to keep out of the situation uh, in Iran. People of Iran can sort the Islamic Republic of Iran out. They, they'll sort them out by... by yeah, but what, what is important is people-to-people -people solidarity, and that's hugely important. People need to support the protesting people of Iran. They're doing it at great risk, with great bravery and courage. They're facing a really beastly uh, regime, and they need real solidarity, human inter solidarity. International support everywhere. People need to spread the news and be very clear what people want. They don't want reform of the Islamic regime of Iran. They don't want this, that, and the other. They don't want a foreign intervention in, in country in Middle East. What they want is.
dignity, peace, uh, society, livelihood, business, business. you know, yeah. that, that sort of thing, the basic fundamentals of uh, civil society, that's what we need to support and that's we ask everybody who sees this program to support the people of Iran and organize any way you are organizing support of uh, the protesters in Iran.